Welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you a peachy pink sort of look for today. I haven't posted last week on Tuesday or Thursday, but I hope this gets uploaded on Tuesday. I'm so sorry. Um, I want to say something really quickly. Since school is right around the corner, I start school on September 7th, so I'm probably not going to be able to post on Tuesday and Thursdays. I'm going to probably be like random days, so you guys will be trying probably expecting that so um, that's all I have to say let's get on to the video so the first thing I'm going to start off with is my elf aqua primer mist this is an amazing primer so I'm gonna be looking out to my mirror so um, if you guys don't see me I'm just gonna be looking here so you want to do it far away because it sprays like really strong so I'm just gonna set that and since we're gonna be using I don't want to like use my dirty hands for my makeup, so I'm gonna be using this green tea pocket bag from um, Bath and Body Works. I'm just gonna put some on because, like, sometimes I apply my foundation sometimes with my fingers, so yeah. And I love how this smells, it smells so good. So, the foundation I'm going to be using today is this Fit Me Foundation. Um, I am in the shade 230. I'm just going to be applying some on my hands right here. I don't like wearing too much makeup, um, so I'm just going to do it that much. So, I still have some leftover. I'm going to be using my Beauty Blend. Beauty Blender first. It's also from e.l.f. The Beauty Blender is from e.l.f. Just so you guys know that. I'm going to apply this onto my neck. I just took a shower, so I'm just doing that. Okay, so now that we're done using that Beauty Blender, I'm going to be using my stippling brush from Elmo. Not Elmo. Why did I say Elmo? My sister's been currently obsessed with Elmo, so that's why I said that. It's from Elf, guys. It's from Elf. Not Elmo. I've never heard a makeup brand named Elmo. So. I have to ask you guys something. Um, you guys think I should dye my hair gray with some black in my roots? Because, like, school, I really want to look new for school. Like, I'm not trying to impress anyone, but, like, I just really want to get a new look, and I want to get my nails done also. So, yeah, and I'm going to be using my Olo foundation brush. I'm just going to blend it out a little bit better, like right here on the top of my head. I just got this new mirror today, and uh, like it has amazing light, so I don't need a ring light that much. And this one looks like... <gasps> okay, so some of my stuff fell, and I feel really mad, so I'm just going to pick that up really quickly. Okay, guys, so none of my things broke, so that's a good thing. So... I'm done blending that out. So then I'm going to be using my Match Perfection Concealer from Rimmel London. I don't have a lot left, so they're not, there's not going to be a lot of concealer on my face. And the foundation is matte. It's a matte finish, so it's going to look really nice on my face. So I have, I've been breaking out a lot, so I'm just going to cover those up. Look fantastic, guys. So I'm going to be using a, my concealer brush, and this is not the size for it, but like, I'm just going to use it anyways. Just letting you guys know, I've been on YouTube for like the for like a year already, and I totally forgot to like, thank you guys for like, so many, like a year, I know it hasn't been a lot, but thank you guys so much for like, your support and stuff. I already have 17 subscribers, and a lot of them are my cousins, but um, they don't speak English. But it's all good. I still love them. Peace. I don't know why I said that. Okay, so now that I've finished with my face so far, I'm going to be... Sorry, I'm on a ball sort of rubber thing, so that's why I'm moving a lot. I'm going to be going in with my natural eyeshadow palette with this double profusion blending brush with a little thingy ring in the end. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to be using this. I'm doing a peachy look. I totally forgot. So, instead of using that, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild um, single um, 
in the color cheeky. So we're just gonna pop that open and we're gonna use our blending side and we're gonna apply it to the crease. It's not really that pigmented, so you have to like um add some like layer it layer it up. So yeah. Okay. I'm gonna add some to the lid, not too much. So I'm just gonna move it like that so you guys see it a little bit better. Okay. Don't fall, please. Okay. I got it. So I'm gonna be doing my second eye off camera, so I'm not doing that right now. So I'm gonna get my blush palette um in the colors light. I'm gonna gonna be using these two colors together on the lid. Like sort of on the lid and then blend it out with a little bit of the crease. Just like tap it on. And then we're going to get a, some of this orange color right here. And we're just going to... My brush fell. <laughs> we're going to get some of that and we're going to tap it on to the lid. And we're going to blend it out a little. And then we're going to get some of that same orange color. We're going to put it down here. Okay, so now I have my eyes done, and we're going to be going in with this mascara. It is the Waterproof Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara from L'Oreal Paris. We're going to put some on our eyelashes. Like, I don't really need mascara, but I like how it leaves my lashes. My lashes are naturally, naturally long, so... Uh, like it sort of changes a lot though so now that I'm finished with this I'm gonna go in and do this eye off camera so I'll be right back guys okay guys so now that I've done with my eyes I'm going to go in with my brows I'm gonna try to find my stuff because I have like them all over the place that one's for concealer like I bought these two eyebrow ones and then I found it that's a good thing so I'm going to be using this little spoolie right here, like that, and then I'm going to be using this pomade sort of thing from e.l.f. It's in the shade Medium Brown. It's a lock-in liner and brow cream, and then I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Small Angled Brush just to do my eyebrows, and then I'm going to be doing those off camera because like, sometimes I have a hard time doing them, so I'll be right back, guys. So now I am finished with my eyebrows. They are thick, but they came out pretty good. So now I'm going to be doing highlighter. I already have some on because I just filmed this part and I it wasn't filming. So the sh shade that I'm using in highlighter is a Moonlight Pearls and it's the e.l.f. highlighter. And I used this setting brush to apply it. So now I'm going to add some blush. Some blush. I'm going to be using this blush brush. I'm going to be using the same color we use for our eyes. Yes, this is blush palette. I'm going to apply some underneath the highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter and blush. The orange one is like my go-to. I put some up here even though like it doesn't even go there. But I like how it looks. So... Here. It's like a contouring step, but like I'm not good, so I'm just gonna go with it. So I feel like this is it, but then I don't know. But then I'm not gonna have makeup, guys, so we're just gonna go with it. So now I'm gonna be using my makeup mist and set from e.l.f. Also, my go to makeup setter, like primer thingy, sort of. I don't know. So we're just gonna do this. what it came out to look like you really can't see the highlighter but I'll like bring you closer to my mirror so you guys see what it looks like so oh I have to do lips so since it's a peachy pink color we're gonna be using this pink color um, lipstick sort of thing I don't know what shade it is because it's like a year old I got it from forever 21 so we're just gonna apply some I'm just gonna swatch it like this Uh, nothing happened. We're all good here. 
So that's what it looks like. You really can't see it, but I'll like put it closer to the light. Okay, so we're just gonna apply some. That was terrible. I'm gonna take some off and I'm gonna bite it in like Okay. So I'm gonna go get something to like bite off. Oh, something. It's I have a little tiny like thingy right here, so it's an old thing, so I'm just gonna bite like not bite into like just like put my lips on so it comes off a little. Okay. Ready? See? They're not as dark. I'm gonna do it one again. Like, I don't really like dark lips, so yeah. So now I'm gonna bring you guys over here so you guys can see what it looks like with good lighting. So let's go to see. Okay, guys, so I look like a completely different person. Um, my eyebrows are, like, really thick, and, like, this, these eyebrows came out so good. But they're thick, and, like, I don't really go for that. My eyebrows are, like, sort of light and then dark a little. So the highlighter right there, guys, that's an amazing highlight. No, it's not really that good. So highlight be popping. Highlight be popping. Nose highlight, like, where are you at? I don't see you. So, I really like how this look came out. I love how it looks with my hair, too. It's light. It's 9 o'clock. I'm, I'm filming on a Friday. I'm going to upload this on a f Tuesday. I was going to say Friday. It's next Tuesday. So, that's what it came out to look like. I really love this look. I would go for it. The eyebrows, like, I would not go out like this with my eyebrows. My dad would, like, not allow me so like I would go for a lighter eyebrow with this medium kit from elf also I like I'm, I'm obsessed with elf it has like the best products just letting you guys know affordable too so my lips are so pretty I love how this look came out too long doesn't matter probably gonna edit it later so if you guys enjoy this video and if you did give it a big thumbs up um, if you have any ideas for me comment down below if you didn't like this video Please give it a big thumbs up. You guys thought I was going to say it. thumbs down. But no negativity on my channel. So if you don't have anything nice to say, don't visit my channel again and unsubscribe if you don't like any of my videos. So, peace. Um, Yeah, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe down below to become an official part of the Morales family and part of the Dabbing Bugs Bunny. So, oh, the highlight. Okay, so enough of that. Um... Yeah, peace.